hello great youtubers welcome back in our previous tutorial we looked at the general view of the analog model in this part i will show you how to configure the analog input in step 7 let's get started kindly subscribe if you've not done that already and also press on the notification bell so that you always be notified whenever I upload new video. Kindly give me a thumbs up. I've op already opened the getting started project. If you've not done that already, you can look at the previous tutorial. Okay. So to configure the analog model, just as we did for the input models, you need to go to the hardware configuration. So I'll click on the Cimatic 300 station and then click on hardware. The analog models are also located under Cimatic 300 and then when we move to the SM300 which is the signal models 300 and then we have the AI which stands for analog input 300. All right, so we click on this to expand it and then we have various cards here. We can select this very one which is AI8 times 12B. Basically the AI8 represent that analog input and then the channel that's the number of inputs that this card can accept is eight signals at the same time all right so we will look at what exactly the 12-bit also stands for so the 12-bit stands for the resolution of the card so basically what is the resolution resolution is the sensitivity of the card the ability of the card to sense smallest changes in the input signal so for example a 12-bit card will be less sensitive compared to a 16-bit card which implies that when I apply a signal to a 16-bit card the slightest change in the signal a 16-bit card will be able to pick it up whilst a 12-bit card will struggle to pick that same change in signal so in other words basically the higher the resolution or the higher the bit the more sensitive that card is and is able to detect the smallest change in your analog signal okay so with this understanding we will now look at the next the next is the type of signal that this card can accept so if you are to use the card you need to determine the, the type of signal that you'll be sending to this card the card can accept signals just like voltage current resistance and then temperature so if we look at the various cards some can accept various or varieties of uh, signals and then others can accept only specific signals so to identify what type of signal that the card can accept there is two ways you can do that the first is to use the manual to determine what type of signal the card that you've chosen can accept and then the second is to use the hardware configuration just as we are doing right now to determine the type of signal that the card can accept okay so let's look at the latter to do that you have your card the card will be having an id so if i click on this very card i have this particular id and the id should match what is on my hardware the physical hardware of the card okay so let me drag and drop this item okay so if i click on double click on it i can open the property window and then when i go to inputs okay so at the input you can specify let's see the type of signal that this card can support if i click here i can see the various type of signal we can see that this is a multi-purpose card which can take voltage it can take current for 20 milliamp current four wire two wire it can take resistance that is uh, for temperatures we can take rt tc that is thermocouple so you can specify which particular signal let's say for instance if i want to pick 4 to 20 milliamp for wire i can do that and then i can click here to specify whether it's 0 to 20 or 4 to 20. so you can do that for all you can also select various types so let's say for instance i pick uh, two wire here for 20 and i pick the next two wire for this particular point as well 
and then we can see that the number of inputs just as we are saying it was eight bits channel so it starts from zero up to seven right so this is one way to identify the type of signal that the card can take when you are done you can come to the address and also specify the start address and then the end address for the specific card you click ok all right now let's look at other cards let's say for instance this very ones and you can see that with this is not the general purpose one because they've specified the type of signal that this card can pick first this one can pick it's an 8 channel card and then it's accept RTD this one RTD this is 8 channel card and then accept thermocouple which is TC so if so if I drag and let's say drop it here and double click on it so we can go to input part 1 and then you can see that from here I don't have enough choice to select other signal type the signal type is fixed so basically this is how you'll be able to identify what type of signal that your card your input card will be able to accept in the next video we will look at how to scale this particular signal that we are reading from the input card and then also make meaning out of this signal or convert the signal from from the raw state into the engineering state for the operator to understand all right thank you very much for watching see you in the next tutorial bye bye